Good evening, Wakefield families, and welcome to Back to School Night 2021. We are excited to meet with you virtually this evening to share with you what our students will be learning and doing in their classes this year. I first want to commend our students on the amazing job they have done in complying with health and safety measures, including consistently and correctly wearing their masks. I have heard from so many students and staff members how much they appreciate being able to be back together in person. And for us to continue, it takes all of us doing our part to keep our community safe. Another part of the health and safety plan is the daily reporting of health or illness related symptoms by completing the Qualtrics screening questions. All students and staff members are asked to complete the, the screening process each morning before leaving for school. The response to the screening are reviewed by school and public health staff and allow us to more quickly collect information and assess the situation and identify any possible next steps. And as a reminder, if your student is not feeling well, please keep them at home until they are better. An important part of the high school experience is student participation in clubs, activities, and athletics. We encourage all students to get involved in one of our many clubs and organizations or try out for one of the sports teams that we have. Tomorrow, Thursday, September 23rd, is our annual club and activities fair during all three lunch periods. This is an opportunity for students to see what clubs are available and meet some of the club's members. For athletics, we are currently in the fall sports season. Trials for winter sports, which includes girls and boys basketball, wrestling, swim and dive, rifle, indoor track, and gymnastics, will begin in November. Please note that to be eligible to participate in winter and spring sports, students must have a physical completed after May 1, 2021. And just announced at the school board meeting last week, they must be fully vaccinated, meaning two weeks after the last vaccination shot. Any questions about clubs or activities can be directed to our student activities director, Mr. Nate Haley. Another important part of the American high school experience is homecoming. We are looking forward this year to an exciting homecoming week beginning on October 4th and concluding on October 9th. Please be on the lookout for announcements regarding different activities that are being planned for the week. I know many students are wondering about having the traditional pep rally on Friday afternoon before the football game and the dance on Saturday evening. We are working closely with the administrative teams at Washington Liberty and Yorktown High Schools and central office staff to identify how we can hold these events in the safest manner possible. Again, we will be sharing announcements and information in the coming days about both of these events and others that will take place over the course of the week. Earlier, I mentioned how happy students and staff are to be back together again in person. That being said, the Wakefield staff and I are fully aware that the past 19 months have been extremely difficult for our students and families. Transitioning back to in-person instruction will be a process and there will be bumps along the way. Please reach out to me, your child's teachers, counselor, or administrator if you see your students struggling or in need of assistance. We are all in this together and want to be a support for all members of this Wakefield community. It is now my pleasure to introduce our PTSA president, Ms. Judith Davis, who will then be followed by our booster president, Ms. Connie Sherman. Thank you and have a nice evening. Good evening, Wakefield families. It is beautiful to be here tonight and it is super exciting to see that we're able to be back in school in person, that PTSA had the honor and the pleasure to be here for the orientation nights, all four or five of them, and to be able to engage with our teachers and to help them have a great start to their new year after being away for 18 months. Our theme for this year is One More for Wakefield, which means that if everyone who is at Wakefield, every single student, every single family, every single teacher and staff member commits to doing one act of kindness, one way of engagement or commitment for Wakefield, we will be able to rebuild our community and we want to make sure that we continue on a, on a grand note and you can help us get there. How you do that is by joining us and by attending our PTSA meetings. Thank you very much. And I would like to introduce our Boosters President, Connie Sherman. Thank you, Judith, for that nice introduction. My name is Connie Sherman and I am the president of the Wakefield High School Boosters Club. And I am so happy to be with you tonight. So let me tell you a little bit about Wakefield Boosters. We are um, a non organization where we provide supplemental funding to our sports teams and our clubs and the way in which we earn funds is through our concessions so we open concession stands for all of our home games that's our snack bars we also sell spirit wear um, you can see the t-shirt I'm wearing here 
And the third way we earn money is through in-kind donations. Being that a non, we are a nonprofit, a 501c3, any donation you make is tax deduct deductible. We Last year we did have a bit of a challenge raising funds with limited ability, but even um, being able to do that through donations, through in-kind donations, as well as spirit wear funding, we were able to provide a portable shelter for our track team, speed training shoots, we sent um, nine MIPA FLS students on a virtual 10K run. Um, we provided funding to the Mary Thatcher Scholarship, uh, professional development for our Wakefield Heights school coaches, as well as school banners across the school. Um, and we were able to provide funding to celebrate senior nights for our various sports teams. We really cannot do this without parent volunteers. If you have a student athlete and you're already in the gym or you're already down at the football field or the hockey field, then why not volunteer? It's a huge value to us. That's how we make money to fund these requests. Um, so please, you know, please volunteer. We have tons of fun. Um, we get to meet the faculty, the students, the teachers, and we have a really good time um, working concessions and selling spirit wear. Come out and join the fun with us. Thank you very much and have a fantastic back to school night.